Hi everyone, welcome to the Lisa Love Stitching podcast, or Floss Tube, I should say. Um, it's day 12 of Stitch Mania. Um, I haven't done anything because I've been in a lot of pain with my hand since last night. Um, where I hurt it last year when I fell off the bike, I sort of dislocated one of the fingers, fingers but it auto automatically went back in. So it went out and in as I fell. Um, and my arthritis, because we've had a cold spell here, my arthritis has been playing up. So um, that's aggravated that injury. And so, yeah, and then I've also, all the walking I did last week um, in Perth, because my hotel was quite a distance from the venue, um, I had to walk about three kilometres a day to and from the hotel. So um, I've injured my ankle from the joints there so yay anyway I'm on the good drugs today so they've finally kicked in um finally had to give in and have some Mobic and um Panadol so they're starting to work I'm still sore but not as bad so I just wanted to show you what I got done yesterday before my hands started hurting was I filled in the wing of the quilting bee um it's not perfect there's boobies in it but that's what it is and no one will really know unless they're looking at the chart so that's what it'll be and get it B <laughs> quilting B um, so yeah so that's where I'm up to and I'm just not enjoying stitching it maybe because I've made a few boobies and had to frog it a few times I'm just not enjoying stitching it at the moment um, it's not as fun as I thought it would be anyway maybe once I get more of the B done it'll feel good but I really want to get back to working on some of the um, old white farmhouse sampler, but can't do anything at the moment because my hand's too sore. Um, <clears throat> so other than that, um, I got some mail while I was away. So um, sorry for the awkward angle of this, but it's the only way I can do it without having to set up a whole big thing. So while I was away, um, some things that I'd had on order for a few months had finally come in. Um, so one of them is um, my first ever dimensions kit, which is the geese, snow geese, uh, winter geese, and it's on 16 count grey Ada, which actually looks blue to me, um, and is a design by Jim Killen, and that's it there, and I just loved it when I saw it, and I've seen some finishes of this, and it just is even better than the picture shows here so really looking forward to doing that and of course it comes with the Ada and everything but I'm not sure if I want to do it on the Ada or change to 32 count linen because I really prefer stitching on linen these days so I don't think it'll make much difference as long as it's the right count it won't matter um, so yeah I might look at getting some linen for that one another one which I've been waiting on it didn't unfortunately come in time for Easter, but um, I'll probably work on it for next year for Easter. Is Easter Girl by um, Nikki's Creations, and I just thought it was really cute. I really like the chicks. Sorry for the glare. And then another one that came is Old Witch Mary by Lila Studio, and I really love this. It's my first Halloween piece chart that I got and it says old witch Mary quite contrary how does your garden grow with moss and slime and poisonous vine and toadstools all in a row so this one I'm going to save for my birthday month which is October and because that's Halloween then um, my birthday's the 25th of October and Halloween's the following week so um, might see if anyone wants to join me for a Halloween theme stitch along. It doesn't have to be this chart. It could just be any other Halloween chart. Um, thought that might be fun or something autumnal. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm looking forward to doing later. I just need to kit it up. And this one's done on 32 count Belfast Linen Thunderstorm. So yeah. And then this other one from Lila's studio I got is um, With the Needle. And I just like the colours and the houses and just a little farm theme. 
And this says, flowers, plants and fishes, beasts, birds, flies and bees, hills, dales, plains, pastures, skies, seas, rivers, trees. There's nothing near at hand or farther sought, but the with the needle may be shaped and wrought. John Taylor, 1634. And I thought it was kind of poignant seeing as it's John Taylor and Wayne's surname's Taylor. So I thought that'd be cute to do, to put on the wall. And then um, I got the last three charts from um, Motifs by Hand and the dimensions was from the Ukraine or Russia. Actually, it was from Russia on eBay and then this one I got from a stitch in time in Hobart in Sandy Bay and it's the limited edition Lucy Navier um, 1818 Queen of the May I mean check out the French knots in that tree that'll be so involved but I love the little red house manor house and the guy fishing in the pond yeah so I think that'll be really lovely and look at these beautiful pots of flowers and the garland and I love the little angel up the top I think that's quite cute so yeah so I'm looking forward to starting that maybe next year we'll see I've got Sarah Brazier to start as well but I want to I want to make sure I get the limited edition ones because um, <clears throat> they'll be harder to come by once they're gone so the poem in this one says softly fall the healing sound like the dew drop on the ground Drooping plants shall soon revive, faith in bud begin to thrive, and enlarged shall soon disclose beauties of the full-blown rose, which I thought was really sweet. So yeah, so that's my um, stuff that's come in the mail um, this week while I was away, and um, yeah, so there's only a few more days left of week two of Stitch Mania, so I don't know how much more I'll get done on the quilting bee. Um, I'm thinking I'll just leave it for today um, to give my hand a rest because it's still sore even with the medication and yeah we'll see how I get done so I don't know if I'll be able to get a video in each day this coming week because I'll be back in the office but um, yeah we'll see how we go anyway I hope you're getting lots of stitching done hopefully more than I am and I'll catch you all in the next video bye